Eunice Marie here and so today we're going to be talking about how to get rid of or fade away dark spots. If you are somebody who suffers from acne, majority of the time you're going to have dark spots left behind from the scarring of the acne and you guys know my story and how I have been battling acne forever. There are little spots on my face that are annoying, they take time to heal and go away but I'm going to share with you guys some things that you can do um, in your skincare regimen, some products you can utilize or ingredients you can utilize in your skincare regimen to start to fade away those dark spots. Now um, as I mentioned before in my last video I was happy to announce that I am a Sherry beauty expert so I do create content on Sherry. Sherry is a beauty app where you can go and find all things beauty from skincare, hair care, makeup, um, even nails and you can see how other people feel about a product or you can also um, engage in conversation about maybe a skin problem or a hair problem um, it's just a very universal app when it comes to beauty my link will be down below you can go on over to my profile I will be creating content there so I'll be posting content on skincare um, beauty topics I'll do product reviews all of that as well as I will be conversing with you guys engaging with you guys um, about any questions you have about skin so definitely go download the cherry app and come on over and join me on cherry okay so let's go ahead and let's jump into this video today now um if you're not subscribed to my channel hello welcome to inform beauty take a moment to subscribe as well as thumbs up this video and share your girl with the world okay so um a little bit of a backstory on my skin so you guys know that i am acne oily skin i have been dealing with that for some time nothing is new i have a whole situation going on over on this side that you guys seen in my previous video um, when i didn't have on any makeup and currently that is still going on but we put a little bit of makeup on today so with that i have experienced when i have a breakout and the breakout begins to you know go away it leaves a spot behind that's just the name of the game when it comes to dealing with acne or very bad breakouts so I'm so familiar with the journey um, and to this day we are still going through it uh, I just feel like acne is gonna be with me for the rest of my life but the only thing that I can do is you know maintain it by what I use my skincare regimen and all that okay so let's jump into this topic I'm really excited to talk about this because it is something that people really have a problem with and I feel y'all on it so besides acne besides the conversation of what can I do to get rid of these breakouts what can I do to reduce my breakouts stop my breakouts immediately following after that the next most common question is what can I do about this scarring because scarring can stay around for a very long time. It takes, it can make your skin not look as best. And it's just, it can be one of the most annoying skin situations along with active breakouts. I want to put it out there that getting rid of dark spots takes time. Unfortunately, dark spots do not go away overnight. It is important that you have patience, consistency, and um trying different products to see what works for you okay but it does take time for those dark spots to fade away um unless you go a drastic route as far as like a chemical pill or maybe something like a laser treatment those may have a faster result for you but if you're going to go with a typical like product it's going to take time so i want to put that out there out there because i have not seen so far a miracle product that gets rid of your dark spots like that and if there is I would really watch out for that and really want to know what's in that product okay so just something to throw out there because that's another thing when it comes to treating dark spots people want that like quick fix and when it comes to that dark spot and that pigmentation you guys it's there's no quick fix it takes time consistency and using products seeing what works for you and what doesn't work for you okay now, so the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to dark spots and treating them is evaluating your skincare routine. Now, you guys have heard me talk about 
you know, having a solid skincare routine in your, you know, in your regimen or in your life so you can have the best looking skin. And that is no different here. You need to evaluate your skincare routine. You need to ask yourself, are you consistent with your skincare routine? Um, what are you currently using? Are those ingredients beneficial for your skin? Um, you need to ask yourself, how can you improve your skincare routine? Are you not being as consistent with your exfoliating? Are you not being as consistent with moisturizing every night? Like really sitting back and taking an honest, real look at your skincare routine. Now, um, if you are not consistent, it doesn't matter how many products you get. If you are not consistent with your products or with your regimen, it doesn't matter if you have a whole arsenal of products in your cabinet. You're not going to get the best results from them because you're not using them. So it is really important to number one, go and evaluate your skincare. Sit down and just go, what do I do in the morning? What do I use in the morning and where can I improve? Do I need to throw in an exfoliator? Do I need to throw in a mask? Just really figure out what you need to do as well as using products that are for your skin type i cannot stress that enough if you're not, if you're oily prone skin oily acne prone you should not be using products for dry skin don't do it so next we're going to jump into some ingredients that help with dark spots these are ingredients that you want to look for in products from face cleansers to face washes to creams masks skin treatments um you want to definitely like you know look for these in those products as well as these are only a few that I'm going to talk about but there are so many different things out there that are great for dark spots so definitely do your research and and look into it and see what else is out there and available for you guys okay I always suggest doing your research okay do your research so the first one we're going to talk about is vitamin C. Now, vitamin C, hands down, is one of the top ones. Anytime you go and you Google or anytime you're going and you're looking for something for dark spots, you're going to come across vitamin C. Why? Because vitamin C has a lot of great benefits when it comes to cell renewal, skin renewal. Um, it's also a little bit of a light exfoliator. It brightens the skin, makes the skin look overall better and you guys know that I recently, well I've been using for a few now, a few months now, but when I started introducing vitamin C serum into my skincare routine, I, I told you guys that I saw brighter skin complexion, I saw an overall better complexion um, for my, with my skin when I started to utilize vitamin C. Um, few of my favorite um, products that contain vitamin C is the Derma E um, vitamin C serum. We talked about that in the video. Love that stuff. I'm almost out. I need to buy me another bottle. And the Derma E vitamin C facial peel. That is another one of my favorites. I need to actually do one tonight. I love that product, okay? Keep in mind, if you do have sensitivities, you want to use vitamin C with caution. Okay, so next we're going to talk about glycolic acid. And glycolic acid we spoke about before is an AHA. And um, it pretty much, uh, it's also an exfoliant. So it is an exfoliant. It'll take away the dead skin. And it also helps out with breakouts, okay? So what does less breakouts mean? Less breakouts equal to less scarring, all right? And so my favorite glycolic right now that I'm currently using is the Nola Skin Essentials Glycolic Face Wash, okay? Um, I also have another Restore Serum, but you guys know that Restore Serum is a bit, like, shocking to the skin, so I don't like to use it as often. I prefer the face wash. It's a little bit more on the gentle side, but that, that Restore Me Serum... It sets my face on fire, so I don't like using it unless I'm really trying to get down to the nitty gritty on something with my skin, okay? So, glycolic acid is also a great ingredient to have in your skincare routine when it comes to dark spots. Um, vitamin E oil, vitamin E oil is my favorite. Vitamin E oil has so many great healing factors. Um, it's great for regenerating the skin regenerating new skin cells and it's very 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 moisturizing so you can take a little bit of vitamin E oil and put it on an area or you can put it on your overall skin and it really just helps with um, scarring and you know just keeping that skin nice and moisturized okay and my favorite vitamin E oil currently is the Derma E vitamin e, vitamin E oil um, and I that's a new one too I just got it like I, well, I didn't just just get it I've had it for some time and I've been using it and I really do like it okay a lot of times too. side note you will find vitamin C mixed with safflower oil I haven't really found vitamin C on its own I mean sorry I haven't really found vitamin E oil on its own it's always mixed in with something so I think I've seen the capsules come by themselves I usually just break them and squeeze them out and then put them onto my face but usually you'll find more than likely 
vitamin E is mixed with like safflower oil and things like that. So the last one that I have is rose hip oil. I adore rose hip oil. Rose hip oil is another one of my favorite um, essential oils. It is the anti-aging oil, and we talked about rose hip oil before. It's actually one of my trending videos. The rose hip oil brightens skin, fades dark spots and scars, and it is an antioxidant. Okay. Um, my current favorite one is the rose hip oil by Rose Hip Seed Oil by Now. So it's a regular old uh, essential or it's not really an oh yeah it's an essential oil um and you i usually pour it into my body oils or my body butters or my face oils and use it that way okay so those are some um so those are some ingredients and some tips on when it comes to dealing with dark spots there are so many different other things out there and so many different other methods that you can use when it comes to dealing with dark spots so i do suggest doing research of course if you guys have any questions you can always leave them down below but thank you so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you in a later video bye